this is a fantastic opportunity. And this is really what academic research is all about. So then what would be the process that, that, that copper would be important for? That's something to think about. And so Wilson's disease comes in at this point. Mutations that occur in Wilson's disease lead to accumulation of copper in the liver. The liver fills up with copper. And then when the liver's full, it spills over into the brain and it causes neurological complications. It's about one in 30,000 people is thought to suffer from Wilson's disease. And it may be even higher than that. What we were able to show in this mouse model was that we could uh, treat the mice with our compound and you could see that uh, the levels of copper in the liver were reduced dramatically. The levels of, li of copper in the brain were reduced dramatically. That, that was quite striking. So we have a molecule that is orally bioavailable, very specific for copper, crosses the blood-brain barrier and is rapidly excreted from the animal um, as a copper complex through the feces. This shows a number of properties that are very exciting as a potential therapeutic to treat Wilson's disease.